Hello and welcome. You are watching Amhara TV News and I am Fikra Dizodu. Stay with us. First, National Moment of Amhara said it will work for the continuity and dignity of the identity of Amhara nation. Senior officials of the moment have recently conferred with residents of Bahardar and we have more on this. The Amhara Nation Movement held a discussion with residents of Bahardar and its vicinity on August 5, 2018 at Mulalem Cultural Har. In this discussion, President of the Amhara Nation Movement, Dr. Dasalin Johnny, said there needs to be a country which respects the identity of the Amhara people. The future Ethiopia we will build should have the appropriate respect to the Amhara people's identity, culture and history. We don't need a fabricated history, and the false accusation of Amhara people should stop. In this Ethiopia we live in, being Amhara should be promoted and deserve respect. And we can do that by starting from ourselves. After all, if we all say we are Amhara with pride, no one will take the idea of Ethiopia from us. <laughs> Youth who participate in the discussion say the Amhara Nation movement should fight for the identity of the Amhara people. The thing that I wanted to tell to all the members is we need to stop racism and start working hand in hand with other people. All the members should know this movement is a matter of existence for the people of Amhara. Head of Public Relations in Amhara Nation Movement, Mr. Christian Tadela said they are working with different scholars to maintain the identity of the Amhara people. The only way to rescue the survival of the Amhara people is the Amhara nationalism. And to do that, we prepare a 25 years strategic plan by consulting scholars and experts. It seems like things are getting better in the country. You can take the reform as an example, but but it doesn't mean all the questions related to the existence of Amhara people are answered. As a matter of fact, the issues are not even acknowledged as a question. A by printing and packaging company has commenced printing newspaper. According to the sources, the company can produce publications which cannot be produced domestically before, and we have Abeba Burhane for the detail. Ethiopia spends averagely about $100 million annually for printing purpose only. Abai Printing and Packaging Company, which is established by Amharan Development Association at a cost of 641.5 million bir, has begun to print different newspapers. This company has been producing printing products that cannot be produced locally before. The company is using modernized technological materials to produce the newspapers and different books. Abai Printing and Packaging Company has an average potential to produce about 8,000 to 12,000 books and 40,000 to 60,000 magazines. The first thing that makes this company different from the others is that the modernized technological materials that the company uses. It is using up-to-date technological materials that are being used in the modernized world, like India, Dubai, China, and so on. The other thing that makes this company special is that the personnel that the company accommodates. There exist different professionals and skilled level that fit to the technological materials. Mr. Tadesa said that the company is believed to solve its background problem and it's taught to minimize foreign currency that our country costs. Other printing presses, especially found in the city of Bahardar, usually get their plate in Addis Ababa or abroad. So they can have the opportunity to get the plate here in Abai Printing and Packaging Company. On the other hand, all regions, including Federal Ministry of Education and other factories, mostly obtain printing products abroad spending a lot of money. Therefore, our company has a strong potential to produce that materials in a quality they desire. 
So far, the company has created a job opportunity for 100 people, and it is believed to receive additional 400 people when the company begins its work fully. The chief administrator of Amhara region, Mr. Gedwan Dargacho, explained that the company is believed to contribute its part in alleviating the problems of shortage of students' textbook. <laughs> It is obvious that the region spends a lot of money every year for the preparation of students' textbook and its replacement. So this company is used to minimize that large amount of money and it gives a chance to students to get quality textbooks on time. Mr. Gedu and Argacho noticed that we should use the product of this company so as to reduce the foreign currency. In this inauguration program, many highest officials of federal and regional level were available, and recognition is given for different people and entities that contributed their part for the success of the company. Coordinators of the celebration of Ashenda Cultural Festivity said the entire necessary provido has already been fulfilled so as to make the holiday colorful and let's get word from Brahanu Wargane. Ashenda is one of the beautiful festivals celebrated in Lasta La Libala. As the coordinator of Ashenda Festival, Mr. Haile Negate explained, Ashenda Festival will be celebrated from August 16 to 18, 2010 Ethiopian calendar. Performance of clergyman's on Yared's hymenic songs, Ashenda Festivity of Yours, researches on Ashenda Festival and visiting infrastructural facilities in La Libala are performance and key points during Ashenda celebration. Yeah, Lasta. Lalibela Ashendiye, Bolet Shasser, Kanasi, Asras Dist, Skasras Mint. Ashenda festivity will be celebrated colorfully in Lalibela from August 16 to 18, 2010, Ethiopian calendar. We have to do a lot when we celebrate the festival to be famous in the region. To make Ashenda celebration successful, we have completed the preconditions. Kermazgit Atanakan, Adarajit Vetran. To celebrate Ashenda Festival colorfully, the coordinator said that we are preparing those who perform Ashenda and we are making our town beauteous and clean. We are doing cooperatively from Kabali to Orada to celebrate the festivity peacefully. Our cultural values are our identity manifestations. Therefore, to preserve those values, the community has to do a lot. We have started to celebrate Ashenda Festival in a different way from the previous one. We have organized the people for the festivity. We have completed the preconditions and now we are at the age of the implementation stage. Deputy Administrator of the Amhara Regional State, Mr. Benalf Andualem said, voluntary youth should act as ambassadors of their region. Members of the Boundaryless Voluntarism team on their part said, they will carry their responsibility interested to them, and Brahanu Wargana has a detail. Deputy Administrator of the Amara National Regional State, Mr. Benal Fandolom, explained that graduated students have been assigned on boundaryless voluntarism in the federal level. The participants have reflected good faces of their region. Today, you are here representing our region. Youths who have represented our region have to show the values, culture, industriousness, tolerance and respect of the people of Amhara for others. Practically, you have to be a model for others. Do not consider, as you have represented yourself only, it's important to think as you are ambassador of the people of the region. Deputy Administrator of Amara National Regional State, Mr. Benal Fandualem, has explained the reason why this year's boundaryless voluntarism differ from the other one. <laughs> It is the time of Ethiopians' unity and great movement has been done to make our country free from poverty and backwardness. 
the movement has been practically supported by the government. Mr. Sabu Gawel, deputy head of the Amara Regional State Yaws and Sport Office, explained the objectives of boundary voluntarism to the participants. The main objectives of boundaryless voluntarism is to show the unity of the region found in Ethiopia. Participants of boundaryless voluntarism explain that they are ready to be role models to bring change in the region. As we have gone as ambassador in the region, we have to teach others in terms of culture, custom and others. It was not all about boundaryless voluntarism, but the main objective of the moment is to bring love, unity and development to the country. In the federal level, 1,000 youths from different regions in Ethiopia have participated on boundaryless voluntarism from August 5 to 14 Ethiopian calendar. A research revealed that women in Amhara regional state are not yet socially and economically benefited to the desired level. Ethiopian Women Federation presented a new proposal that demand policy amendment with regard to women empowerment. And let's get more on this. According to the research, the non-economic package of women conducted by Ethiopian Women Federation, the number of women who benefit economically are less than 50 percent. Dr. Alama Yodebebe, who conducted the research, said, From all the women who are in this project, in some places 50 percent of them are beneficiaries and in other places it is 20 percent, but the average is less than 50 percent. So we need to give more emphasis on how women could benefit economically and we need to identify who is responsible for this specific task and we need to integrate with different stakeholders like the government and non-governmental organizations. The Amhara Regional State House of People's Representative Chief of Women, Youth and Social Affairs Standing Committee, Mrs. Lubaba Ibrahim said, there are many challenges women are facing not to be benefited. For example, there are women who work in, in poultry or agriculture, but we don't support them or ask them what they lack. But if we say we create job opportunity, we need to provide the appropriate follow-up using the training they take in a proper manner. Mrs. Mulu Sawadamu is from Amhara Credit and Saving Institute and said their priority is to make women economically benefited. We are working to empower women in all we can. We provide loan for women Almost 65% of our institute customers are women. Not only we give loan, but we do continuous follow-ups. Ambassador Gannett Zaude on her part stated that Strategic Development Center for Women is working on researches which could serve as an input for the government. We are conducting evidence-based researches which could bring pressure on existing policies. And finally, Kombolcha Town Administration has inaugurated pure water project constructed at a cost of 200 million per. Residents of the town say the water project will alleviate health and other social problems they usually encounter, and we have Aisha Mohammed for the detail. Kombolcha Town Administration has inaugurated water expansion project, which has been constructed at a cost of 200 million. This project will provide pure water for 2,077 citizens of the town. Residents of the town state that prior to the water project, pure water supply of the town was not balanced with the number of the people in the town. I live 52 years in this town. We used to face water shortage when we have a program like weeding and other things. We were using Borkona River, which is not good for our health. Previously, in our vicinity, 
we were not getting water for 15 days or a month. When we are reporting the problem to concerned bodies, they used to say that the problem will be elevated by the government. It is more than their capacity. Hence, we face the problem. They added, as this water expansion project has been constructed, their problem has got a solution. Now our water problem has been elevated 100%. This project will also benefit residents of the surrounding Warada. We are happy about it. Manager of Pure Water and Drainage Service Office, Mr. Workie Zena, said this water project has been constructed considering industries and residents of the town. We have constructed a water project before six months, but industries have been expanded in the town after that time. Hence, the water supply was not enough for the people. That's why we have constructed this project by 200 million baht. Previously, the water supply was 200 liters per second, but now it increased to 413 liters per second. It will benefit all residents and industries properly. We are working to do some activities to sustain this project. A cornerstone has been also laid to construct a water tanker project by 500 million baht, which will be constructed in the next five years. Minister of Environment, Forest and Wildlife Ministry, Dr. Gamma Dodali said workers have to be done cooperatively for underground water not to be poisoned by industries. Every development activity has to be done in pure and green place. Hence, industries could not say that we bring development by making uncomfortable situation for the society and by poisoning underground water and the environment. I would like to invite all of you to work together to protect our environment. <laughs> Minister of Water, Irrigation and Electric Power Ministry, Dr. Engineer Salashiba Kala said the town water and drainage offices have to do activities by their own financial capacity. I would like to ask the Town Water and Drainage Office to enhance their financial capacities and to do such kind of activities by their own. Residents have to use this water project properly by protecting from wastage and the like. The Town Water and Drainage Office also have to work to address water for all residents of the town sustainability. <laughs> This is all we got for today. You are watching Amhara TV News and I am Fukradi Zodu. Goodbye and have a beautiful Thursday.